Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. Good Friday. Rob here for Southwest Florida Television. <laughs> You're all bundled up. You could have. Same thing. It's probably warmer there today. <laughs> it's that wind is a bit on the chilly side. <laughs> Uh, good morning, everyone. It's a bit on the cool side here. It's 55, 55 degrees, but there's a wind coming out of the north, making it feel a little bit cooler than 55. So here we are once again at Del Norwegian's Pass State Park in beautiful North Naples, Florida. As you can see, the surf is up. Got a little bit of wave action this morning. I'm not looking forward to the walk up the beach this morning, up to the north. <laughs> There's a nice sized cockle shell sitting on the beach. Just washed up. Gorgeous clear blue sky here this morning. Not seeing any clouds down to the south or out to the west. Breezy, breezy. No clouds in sight. Hopefully it'll start warming up when that sun gets out here. Give it a couple more minutes to get up over the trees. Warm things up. Ooh, a bunch of little shells down here. A bunch of shells. Nothing really sticking out here. A little scallop shell over here. A fighting conch. Little scallop, little fighting conch. That wind is just cutting right through me this morning. There's a little Murex. I haven't picked one of these up in a while. Little Apple Murex. Kind of missing a piece of it there. Looks like about it. Hmm. Morning. So the tide is pretty high right now. It's on its way out.
Boy, the speeches. Change, good morning. It's really changed shape here. <laughs> it's changing shape here. Look how it's come in up here in front of me. Wow. Another little carpet of shells down here. They're all little tiny shells, though. Hit that share button. Get your friends out of bed. Invite them to tag along with us here. Never know what's going to happen in the mornings. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? Okay, you're crazy. Yeah. What's up, Dexter? It's cold. <laughs> it's cold is right, man. It's cold. It's, that wind is what's killing me. It's cutting right through me. It's like I can feel it in my bones this morning. Me too. Oh. I don't know. Did you see anything interesting? Not today, no. No dolphins? No dolphins. They're deep underwater where it's nice and warm. Man. I did see one yesterday for a brief moment. Woo! That's bad. Yeah. That boat sunk up there again. It sunk now? Yeah. They, they had it raised up. Yeah. Now it's more than it sunk. Those things, those floats, those pontoons blew away. One was on this side. One blew over here the other day, apparently. Really? Yeah, it was on the beach. I don't know why they throw it away whenever they had it pulled up. I thought they were doing it yesterday because they had it turned around, oh, facing oh. out into the gulf. I thought yeah. that's what they were going to do, but. Now it's sunk. <laughs> oh, well. It's a great name for that boat, though, the Outrageous. <laughs> it is outrageous. I feel sorry for the guy, but yeah, it's, getting on, it's getting a little ridiculous now, <laughs> being out there so long. All right, we'll try to stay warm. <laughs> Happy Good Friday. Yep. Yeah. Oh, did you, you didn't come out yesterday, huh? You didn't come out yesterday? No, uh, we I saw you. To, uh, what do you call it? Um, oh, corkscrew. Oh, really? Yeah. That that was. You that. didn't get soaking wet out there. We, we finished up before the rain. Oh, really? Yeah. Did you go on a tour? No, we did it ourselves. We just oh, okay. Ourselves. Yeah, they've got some like guided nature walks out there. Yeah. And that's fun. Yeah. Then you then you really see a lot more than if you do it on your own because <laughs> yeah, there's so much away. yeah there's so much you just miss out there little flowers and yeah, insects and, and a half hours to go through it yeah it's a nice walk corkscrew yeah, swamp sanctuary so did right you in, right into, uh... now that's uh is that a state or federal park what is that Corkscrew. I don't want to see the Audubon Society's there. Oh, it's part of the Audubon? Yeah. Because I don't think your pass works out there. I don't think it's a state park. I don't know if it's a federal state. Yeah, but it's a great, great place. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Corkscrew Swamp Sanctuary. If you come for a visit here, put that on your things to do list. But I do recommend you go on one of the guided walks. It's got a nice nature trail that meanders through the Cypress Swamp. But there's so much to see out there, and there's so many little things that if you're not with the guide, you're going to miss them. <laughs> oh, really?
Well, a lot of cockle shells on the beach. A lot of cockles this morning as I'm walking along, all different sizes. These little, these are like, probably, I'd call that about a medium, a small medium. <laughs> but lots of cockles, some really nice big ones too out here. A lot of people bundled up here this morning. <laughs> got the hardcores with the t-shirts and shorts, and then you got the Floridians in their long pants and jackets. So we are at the south end of Area 3 right now, just coming up to the north end of Area 2. I'm going to turn around here shortly and start walking up the beach. I'm just dreading it. Not wanting, not wanting to walk in that wind. I might just keep going and walk home and leave my car here. <laughs> Tell Roy the keys are in the car. He can drive himself home. Song of the Waves. Good morning, Donna. Chris, good morning. Barbara, good morning. Oh, speaking of Barbara's, Barbara Grove is out here. This is her last day here. This is her last day here, so until oh january she said so now is the time if you want to see barbara and her shells today is the day get out here area four the north end of area four i think she's got her big boys and girls with her her big shells some of those are pretty impressive Kevin was helping her get her stuff out of the car when I walked out here onto the beach this morning.
darn, the water's all churned up now. It was so beautiful yesterday. It was really clearing up nicely. Now these waves got everything stirred up again. I'm going to turn around here in a moment. <sighs> Head back up the beach. Well, hey, if you're in Naples, if you're up in Benita or North Naples, the north of Pine Ridge tonight, is the North Naples Country Club all-you-can-eat fish fry. I know a lot of people go out for fish dinners tonight. Good Friday. Big night for fish. You don't have to get your fish fried. You can get it blackened, grilled, or fried. The North Naples Country Club all-you-can-eat. There's Nana. Good morning. Hey, good morning. We like the vlog. We Good morning. <laughs> Yeah, it's rough out there today. The water was so nice yesterday. It was getting really clear. And now these waves got it all cloudy again. Still nice, though. You know, it's, I, that's what I like. It's different every time you come out here. Yeah. Yep. It's rough out there. <laughs> yep. <laughs> It is very, very rough. Roy was going to go out on a boat fishing today. Uh-uh. No way. No way, Jose. <laughs> you look out on the horizon. It's, you can't tell in the camera, but it is rough out there. Big swells out in the Gulf today. All right, I think I'm going to turn around and start making my way back up the beach. Although I'm in a nice patch of sunlight here, it feels great. Boy, it feels nice actually in the water. See you later. All the erosion here down at the south end of the park. Look at that. Hey, thank you for the stars. I appreciate that. If you like what you're seeing, I do accept tips. I appreciate tips. If you enjoy what I do here, if if you like spending time with our friends, our beach family here in the morning, and if you'd like to send a little tip, you can find a link to my PayPal account in the description of this post. Believe me, every dollar counts. I 
I do depend on that money to get me over the hump every month. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Just looking up to the north, feeling that wind blowing in my face. Ugh. Look at that. Look at those waves. Flag is really blowing up here. Got the yellow flag flying today just because of the rough surf conditions. Medium hazard, yellow is medium hazard. Well, that flag's a blowing. My long stretch of beach here at Del Nor Wiggins. Beautiful. Beautiful no matter what the weather. We've been out here in pretty much every kind of weather except a full on hurricane. We've been out here in tropical storms. Always beautiful. Mother Nature, she just never lets us down. Hurricane Mary Bradley. Ha! That's funny. Now that's a good one. <laughs> ah, Hurricane Mary Bradley. <laughs> well, if you consider those hurricanes, I've been through a couple of those hurricanes. <laughs> I was through the Jan Hurricane, the Jackie Hurricane. I'm looking forward to the, I'm really looking forward to the Dony hurricane. That's going to be a good one. Man, oh man, are we going to have fun when Dony gets here. She is excited about getting here too, believe me.
I'm, I'm hiding from the wind up here. <laughs> I'm using the trees to block the wind. I'm being a wuss up here this morning. What can I say? I lived in Florida all my life. It is gorgeous out here, just absolutely beautiful. I love it. I love my Del Norwegans Pass State Park. Well, it is really clear. You can see way up, way up the coast to Fort Myers this morning. No problemo. My fingers aren't there. I'm trying to zoom in. That's the Pink Shell Resort there in the center of the screen up on Fort Myers Beach. Pretty amazing, huh? It doesn't look very far from here. Dexter told me that sailboat sunk up at the pass. I'm going to have to go check that out. Go down a little bit further, a little bit further to the south there. Give it a chance to warm up a couple degrees before I turn around. <laughs> well, no signs of any sea turtle crawls yet either. down just about out of the park right down on the southern boundary of the park now you can see the stakes over there on the left Vanderbilt Beach here, looking down Vanderbilt Beach, looking south down Vanderbilt Beach towards Park Shore. Those condos off in the distance there, that's Park Shore. To look up our beautiful beach, our beautiful state park, Del Norwegans.
don't know if they have any nests yet at, on Vanderbilt Beach. Oh, lady clutching her coffee cup, keeping her hands warm. It's amazing the difference when you get in the shade here between being out in the full sun and the shade. All right, time to turn around and face reality here. Into the wind I go. Very invigorating wind, <laughs> to say the least. I love this park. I just love the fact that it's just unspoiled. No trees, and, I mean, no condos, just all trees. It's all natural. Vanderbilt Beach is nice, but I'm not a big fan of all the condos. I'm sure most of you saw that post that I shared yesterday morning. The before and after shot of Vanderbilt Beach. Man. 
and they just want to put more high rises on it. Well, they are going to put more high rises. Sad, sad, sad. Oh, here comes Mike. <laughs> Mike in his sleeveless t-shirt and short pants. My goodness, I can't believe his wife is tagging along with him. day to be out on the boat huh i can't believe you're out here this morning yeah it blows She's me all, away too I, I was, <laughs> man you're not cold with this wind <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> when i'm walking that away when i'm walking north man Jeez, look at that out there yeah, it's just yeah roy was supposed to go out fishing on a boat today I told him yesterday, I said, Roy, you're not going to want to go out tomorrow. I think we're probably going to have the pants on. It's a small craft morning. Yeah. Yeah. not going to happen. You can't take a boat out or something like that. If you notice, though, they're white rollers. Oh, yeah. I mean, you can that's, see the horizon. Yeah, it's all. not good. It's, they said they're, the, the swell. How, how big are the swells? I mean, they got to be huge out there. They're, they're big. It was yesterday, you know, we. Uh, weather was going three to five footers uh, uh, yesterday uh, and I said and then I looked at the wind the wind was low five to seven knots is low right we, we went out fishing yesterday the seas were beautiful it, yeah so it was nice here I mean, it's calm clear oh my goodness how's is the water clear out there yeah nice uh, you could see down probably about 25 30 feet really yeah nice could. Good fishing, yeah. catch a lot. Got a lot of baby uh, Goliaths. Oh, really? Got broke off six times trying wow. to. Wow. Pretty sure it was a giant Goliath. Uh, but we had to have the boat back by two because they put a small craft advisory at two. So, Do they know. limit how far out you can go? Not that day because they did say I had to be back at two. I gotcha. That's what that's freedom. Freedom. Nice. Freedom boat club. Yeah. Best way to own a boat. Yeah. The, the other best way is to let your friend own it. Yeah. And that's Jeez. that's the yeah. best way. In the, actually, it's pretty reasonably priced. Yeah. You get a 
lot of sort of What is the annual? What is the sign up? Is it an annual they have, or an initial? They changed it. Uh, it used to be kind of expensive. No, no, back. no. It, it's kind of reasonable. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, it was when we joined, which was what five, six years ago, and uh, you pay a one-time fee, and I think it was around six grand. Okay. And then you pay a monthly fee. All right. Which is not too, too bad. I think it runs between four to six grand, the, uh, the, uh, the one-time fee. Gotcha. I'm not sure exactly what, what it was. And then what do you, you just, you pay for fuel? Is that all you pay for? Yeah. You, uh, or do you have to pay a cleaning fee? And stuff? No, no. We usually nice. tip the guys. Uh-huh. Uh, we, you, you, you know, you have your credit card on file. And right. You, they charge you your fuel and you're done. Nice. Yeah, if you break a prop, if, if you chip a prop, or if you lose an anchor, you have to if pay it's negligent. That. If it's something negative. Yeah. yeah. But do they take good care of their boats? Uh, you know, when you've got so many people using the right. boats like they oh, do. Oh, yeah. And there's, I'm sure there's people who don't even know what they're doing. Yeah. Well, they that some of them maybe, but you have to go through a course. Oh, okay. Uh, if you inshore, you first have to do an inshore. That you do a uh, about an eight-hour course, or it's less than that, and then you nice. have to take the boat out inshore for a week or so with somebody on it. With, oh, okay. You can go by yourself once you have the captain pass you through the uh, the right. The, basically, he does a classroom, and then he gets in the boat, and you have to do some maneuvers in the boat. And then once you're done with that, you can do a on a offshore. Well, I didn't realize they did all that. So that's, yeah, so that's good. a good thing. Yeah, yeah that's a real good thing. I was glad they did yeah. that, you know, because it got me a little uncomfortable. Keeps, so. keeps a few of the hot dogs off the water. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I just sit here at the pass sometimes in awe watching some of these guys going out. You know what, Rob? It's horrible. I mean, you know, down through Gordon's Pass area, uh -huh. these guys oh my God, the yeah. boat. That's why the boat's capsized. Yep. I mean, Marco. you can capsize oh. a boat in the wake. If you're not careful... With another boater's wake, you oh yeah, absolutely, just roll right over. Yeah, absolutely. And you get when you got because through season there are hundreds, and hundreds of boats. Oh yeah, I mean, and they're going. Some of these guys, you know, they have those rent boats. They go crazy in those. We were um, out down out on Marco, you know, out in the boat on Marco three weeks ago, I guess it was, and I was amazed at down in I forget what the bay was called. One of the back bays in there, but Thousand Islands. No, it was in Marco, okay. on, in the island itself. Okay, you know? okay. And it, it was kind of where there, there's a big shopping center down there with all the restaurants on the water, and it was like a parade of boats. I mean, it was just a constant stream of boats coming that, out. Kuwaitin, Kuwaitin no, Island. No, no, no. It was in inside was inside, inside Marco. of Marco. Oh, wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. You and, ever been to Kuwaitin Island? See all yeah. the boats? Oh, yeah. We they used to, dock their boats? Yeah, we used to go there a lot when I lived on Marco. <laughs> that was fun. You know, it is. I was in my 20s then. Yeah? yeah I <laughs> yeah. mean, that's basically a little party yeah. place for everybody. It's, it's wild. That is a great time. We, right, I yeah, go. you're going to be in trouble. <laughs> She's probably home already. <laughs> oh. Uh, that was kind of interesting. I learned a lot about one of these, I don't know what you call it, the boat sharing clubs. I don't know what you call them. Where you pay an annual fee and then you go take a boat out. He said it's around four to $6,000 a year. Then you pay for your fuel. Not a bad deal. Morning. A lot cheaper than owning a boat. Not having to deal with the maintenance, all that upkeep. Well, I got to sign off here. I got to start a new live feed. It's probably ran over my hour time limit here. Darn it! So stick around. Stay tuned. I will return here. Those of you that sent some stars, I see I got some stars here this morning. Thank you. If you like what you see and you want to send a tip i really appreciate that this is that time of the month all the bills are due the next this next week here Whew. if you'd like to send a tip you can find a link to my paypal account 
in the description of this post, then I do thank you. So if I don't see you later, stay safe, stay healthy. Have a wonderful Good Friday. I'll be back shortly. Tally ho, everyone. Tally ho. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.